What's up guys, Aaron here, back with another video. In today's video we're going to be unboxing and taking a look at the Canon XF400 Professional Camcorder. So stick around. Welcome back folks, and I'd like to officially introduce you to the new camera that I've added to my camera arsenal, the Canon XF400. And just a quick heads up, I'll be letting you know why I chose this professional camcorder in the full review. Now my apologies for how close the items are to the camera in this first portion of the video, and that's because I'm using the Canon EOS R. Of course there is a 4K crop, and the box is extremely tall and close to the lens. So I went ahead and sped up the footage. So now that everything's out of the box, let's go ahead and take a closer look at all the accessories. Starting off first with our battery, along with an attachment to introduce a shotgun microphone to the setup. And here's the included screws that attach that microphone holder to the camcorder body. We also get a very nice lens hood. Now the lens hood has a built-in mechanism to help protect the lens, so you don't need to carry around the lens cover. So all you have to do is push the button on the side, and as you can see, a small door opens up, allowing you access to the lens. Now this is a very nice lens hood, and I have to say it's nicer than the lens hood that you get on the Sony NX80, which is a very comparable camcorder. You also get the power cable and power brick along with the proprietary plug that plugs directly into the camera to charge it. We also get the top handle. As you can see, we have the record button as well as zoom functions, along with a cold shoe on the top. We also get XLR inputs as well as all our adjustments for the XLR inputs, which we'll take a closer look at here in a second. So here's the other side of the handle, and as you can see, we have dual XLR inputs, as this camcorder does allow four channels of audio. And of course we have the star of the show itself, the Canon XF400. After removing it from the packaging, I have to say that I'm extremely impressed with the build quality. It definitely has some very nice weight to it and appears to be extremely well built. Now I'm not directly comparing this to the Sony NX80, however I do own that camcorder so I am basically comparing it mentally. Now we do have several functionalities on this camcorder and we will go into further depth in the full review which I will be doing a 15 to 20 minute in-depth review on so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that content. Now this camcorder has a lot of professional features including ND filters, the ability to capture 4K at 60 frames per second, as well as dual SD card slots that allow relay recording. The Canon XF400 has an 8.29 megapixel 1 inch 4K UHD CMOS image sensor with 15 times optical zoom. Also something that's extremely important that's housed inside this camcorder is a 5-axis optical image stabilization system. Now without further delay, let's go ahead and install the top handle, which I'll go ahead and speed up the video. And as you can see, it's just two screws that attach that allows us to utilize the benefits of the XLR inputs. Again, the camcorder can shoot 4K at 60 frames per second, or slow motion at 1080p 120 frames per second. The included top handle allows you to get some great panning shots, and I really like the overall ergonomics of the camera. Here's a closer look at those dual XLR inputs. As you can see, we have input one as well as input two. And on the other side of the handle is the buttons that allow us to adjust the settings on either channel one or two independently. Opening up the 3.5 inch LCD touch panel, we gain access to the pre-record button which allows you to capture some footage before you actually hit the record button, as well as your playback functionality, your display, and battery info. And lastly along the top we have our zoom rocker there on the bottom. We also have a record button as well as a lock button on the top, as well as another zoom rocker and our cold shoe. If you're interested in further information, pricing, and availability on the Canon XF400, all the appropriate links will be available in the video description. Now I got several videos lined up for this particular camcorder that I want to test. So if you guys are interested in seeing anything particular about this camcorder, let me know down in the comments section and I'll be sure to include that in my full review, which again, I will be doing an in-depth review, a 15 to 20 minute review. So if you're interested in seeing that and seeing exactly what this camcorder can do and what it's all about, make sure you hit that like button as well as the subscribe button so you'll be notified when that video will be released. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to drop a like rating down below and also subscribe to the channel to be notified again of future content. Be sure to check out that video description before you leave. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. As I mentioned earlier, my name is Aaron and I'll see you guys on the next one.